and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of lightweight action. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Six minutes still ahead of him here, round one of 12. Not able to land the headshot. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Halfway through round number one. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Trying to score up top, but off the mark there. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. The Dream's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. We count down the final moments of this round. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. He did not see that hook coming at all. Didn't cover up, just took it all. Move that body. We got it. You need to move that body more. All right. Oh, we need more. Yeah, the three more touches. Body, bang, the yeah, body. Yeah, All right, breathe. Deep breath. Get some water. You good? You all right? Breathe for me. Good. Now listen. You threw a wide punch out there, and he caught you. Tighten up your punch. Ferocious is bounces back in his step. Start of a new round coming off of a round in which he really took some punishment. You're Good return great. fire that time. Yeah. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Nice work with the uppercut. Body 
And he just holds on there. The Dream's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. through this round. <laughs> Ferocious has got a little something coming back at him, a counterpunch score. Well-targeted left hand by Ferocious. Ferocious is off mark all night long, and Teddy, he's getting tired just missing punches. Well, this is a good example. You know, we know what happens when they land, but this is a good example of what happens when they don't land. Sometimes you get a little discouraged. Precision work with the left hand by Ferocious. Ferocious is still feeling the effects of the damage that he took earlier. He is clinching more and more as this fight goes on. Now he's got to be a little worried that the referee's not going to tolerate it. Maybe give him a warning and start taking points away. So he's going to have to find a way to kill some time, get himself better, but start creating some offense too. Big, big shot comes crashing home. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? been just a flash knockdown there, Teddy. Yeah, I think he's okay. He looks clear-headed. His legs are okay. Now it's just a matter of making sure that he understands why he got caught. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. Ferocious is recovered nicely here. The start of this round, and he is proving to me at least that what happened in that last round is having no effect on this round. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Ferocious's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. He pushes. Early on in this fight, one of the things I'm going to look for is who's the more well-rounded fighter offensively? Who can do it all with all their punches? Well, you look for that in any sport, in any profession. You know, you look at a quarterback... You know, in football, the great ones, they can throw deep, but they can throw the short patterns. They can throw the outs, the in patterns. Same thing with a fighter. And he engages in the clinch. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Hey, keep your hands. Oh, that oh. uppercut got him badly. Focus, focus. 
Ferocious is tying up more now after being knocked down. And that's what you expect. He's trying to buy a little time. He's not worried about winning this round right now. He just wants to get himself right so he can win other rounds. And he can be around for other rounds. line he goes with a left hand. Hits him in the mug with the right. Ferocious his movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. And clicks of the talk. Right. You bounce just like that. You're gonna take this one. <laughs> Relax, relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. You can keep them up, all right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Round number four underway, and I think these first three rounds, as he's up three to zip on your scorecard, have given us a glimpse of the hard work he put in in training camp. Yeah, especially to that body. You could see that that was part of the fight plan, and he's really acting on it. Really frustrating his opponent now. The dream so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't, and it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Side to side, move your head. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. They both decide to bring it. He missed with that headshot. Jump on. Nice. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Now let's go. Punch! Punch! Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Keep those hands up! Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Keep working the body. Keep doing what you do. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Big shot, the left crashed home. Good way to protect the midsection. Wow, stunned moments ago, but now somehow, some way, surviving well. You know, Joe, I had a fighter once that got dropped in a round, and he wasn't doing real good up to that point. After that, he fought better. He boxed better, he fought better defensively, and when the fight was over, I said, good job. You know, he whispered to me. He whispered, did I get knocked out? Yeah, he did. Huh. He didn't know what had happened. I realized then he was fighting on instinct the rest of the night. Amazing story. You 
can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I noticed is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last round. It did do some damage, but now you can tell he's right back where he wants to be, fresh and ready as we start this round. I don't take lightly when a guy gets stopped, but you know what? I think he was more embarrassed than he was hurt. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Keep your hands up. Good work defensively by Ferocious. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Halfway into round number five here. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Back to the body, back to the body. Nose. Come on. How about a return to sender with the left hand? The Dream's having a masterful round defensively. I love what we're seeing from the footwork with him. Very good movement, sound defensively. Is there anything he should be considering adding to that arsenal, though, right now? Well, he's got to find spots for offense. You know, he's making his opponent miss. He's getting him off bounds. He's frustrating him a little bit. You know, pop at the right time. You know, let it fly a little bit in the right spot. You keep your guy off balance. When you got him off balance, you make him miss, make him pay. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Ferocious is getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Ferocious. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Hey, come on now, you want to get back into this fight. You got to keep working, just keep working. Working that jam. The start of the sixth round. Ferocious's last round, Teddy, could be a turning point kind of round. I mean, we start this round right here, and you do have the sense, even though I think he's down on the scorecards, you do have the sense that he's headed in the right direction. Well, good things can start, you know, one step at a time. Well, he took that first step. Now he's got to take the second step and put two good rounds in a row together. Nice block by the Dream. Back to the body. Unload! The Dream's defense 
Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. He's got that certain something that's a well-acquired skill in this craft of boxing, and that is superb defense, and it's on target tonight. It is. The old-timers would say, you know, that's the hard thing is to learn defense. You know, the easy part, the fun part is letting your hands go. So he's got the hard part down. Guess what? He's enjoying the fun part right now because of it. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Stay away from those! Devastating blow by the dream. Ferocious is proving to be elusive. And he ties up on the inside. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. The Dream's timing with his head movement has been ideal. We have not seen his opponent being able to land anything clean up top tonight. No, because his opponent is not making the proper adjustments. You know, when the head is moving, the body's still there. You can't catch the head. Go downstairs to the body. You paralyze that head. You start to take that movement away. Before you know it, the guy's not quite as elusive. Ferocious's corner right now knows what's going down here. They got a fighter who can win this fight, but they need to urge him to win this fight here in the later stages. No need to get excited. Okay, listen. Body in hand. Body in hand. Double your body punches. Thin hand. It has been completely one-sided so far tonight, and he's in control as we start round. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. And now looking to hang on. Scoring well with the right. He goes from damaged goods, defensive goods. Yeah, because right now he's fighting on instincts. He's doing things without even thinking. Just automatic things. Things that he was taught five years ago, three years ago, that maybe he thought about, but he didn't do. Now they're just coming out. He's just naturally surviving. Left and right, left and right. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. <laughs> Halfway through the seventh round. Oh. Oh. that left hand 
You know, many times we talk about the fact that, hey, at least he's throwing punches, but that's all you can say in this case because he's not landing many of these. No, they're being blocked or they're missing. They're definitely not landing clean, and you have to give credit to the other fighter being that good defensively. Pace yourself! He just missed that shot up top. Last 10 seconds. Don't fight his fight. Jab and move. Jab and move. There you go. Okay. How you doing? Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus and keep your hands up. Keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Good. I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around. Seven entertaining rounds so far. The dream's up on your scorecard, but there's still a lot of work to be done. Yeah, well, he moves his head defensively. There's a lot of work to be done because he moves his head, Joe, but he does it with his hands down. And every once in a while he gets caught, he gets caught clean. That was nice. He just threw the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by the Dream. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Focus. Oh, that's got to hurt. How about that? He goes from being the victim to handing out the punishment. Somehow, some way, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. And he's holding the halfway point of round number eight. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Keep moving, keep moving. Unable to connect by Ferocious. Keep working, Keep working the body. Relax. Relax. A headshot blocked. Ferocious is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. The Dream's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. And this round to comes to an end, here, right? and you can just see that he doesn't have much to him, not much energy there. I mean, how does a trainer fix that? Well, first of all, you said a key word there. You said you can just see. Well, his opponent can see it, so he's not going to slow down. 
his opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't let this guy know you're tired. You're not tired. Stop chasing him around the ring. Cut the ring off. What will this round offer up? Now he ties up there. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Just like that, just like that. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by the dream. Now hugging on the inside. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. The Dream's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Not able to land the headshot. Defense just covering up down low. You see how quickly he pulls the trigger on the hook after that block. Halfway through the ninth round. shape he could be on the deck in moments boy he was damaged but now he's defending himself well work the body Exchange, he fires back. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. End of the round, and he's had better rounds in the fight than the one we just saw, but still, it's very much there for the taking. Yeah, whoever finishes off strongly in the late parts of these rounds, a lot of times, you know, the judges get mesmerized a little bit here, too. You know, it's a real close fight, and Keep you kind of forgot where Keep the, the separation was. And whoever right grabs right the last you part of the round, that's who you remember. Good. It's very oh, important good. in this nice. kind of Listen. fight, finish wait, up wait, good wait, at the end of the round. Okay? And we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. A nice block by the Dream. Open. Blocks that belt line well.
Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Halfway through round 10. The Dream's not showing that he's got a great IQ when it comes to ring well, generalship here. He's just stationary, not much movement at all. No, not at all, and it's feeding right into his opponent. He knows where to find them and where to find them at all times. He needs to get on those legs a little bit and start changing a little bit of his placement here where he is. He's always in the same place. himself and it's a left hand towards the end of the 10th round, 10 seconds to go. And round 10 comes to an end. Relax. Let's finish this fight and go home, kid. Let's knock this son of a bitch out. Body to the head. Finish with the hook to the head. You don't need that. Nice work. You need to throw more punches. That will keep him away. Listen, okay. Start of round number 11. Teddy, I peek over at your scorecard. Now we put it up there, and I see the Dream's down in this fight. He still has a chance to win it, though. It's a close fight. You know what he's got to do, Joe, right now to win this fight? Not go down the stretch. He's got to go down memory lane. He's got to remember all the things he sacrificed. When his friends were out playing, when they were going out at night, they were having a He was in the gym. When his friends were going to the prom, he was in the gym. When they were doing all those things, he was working. He's got to remember that now and bring it home. And he returns on that exchange. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Dreams showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. <laughs> Ferocious is showing you a little defensive skill there. I don't move away from that punch. Ninety seconds to go in this eleventh round. <laughs> nice defense, good block by the dream. to cover up that gut. Oh, hands up, hands up. <laughs> up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Come on. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. 
That's a big right hand. The Dream's showing some real guts here. Hey, this fight was not going his way at all. But some... What a big shot. And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? Ferocious is unable to get up and continue on. The beauty of this game, it doesn't matter how much you're losing by, you can always pull it out. Such is the case, Teddy. He was down on your scorecard. He's a knockout winner. Yeah, it doesn't matter really what's going on in front of you. It matters what's going on inside of you. He never gave up on himself, as you just said, and this is the result. I'm Joe Tessitore for Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us and enjoy the rest of your night.